Um, when did you first realize you were you had a, a talent and a gift for writing? Well, I think it goes back. My my influence really was my father. He he worked in the newspaper business uh, as a circulation manager uh, for New York area papers, including the New York Post, a couple of times. And and so from a very young age, I I was in newsrooms, and um, I always thought it was terrific that. You know, if you wrote something, whether it was for the school paper or whether it was for a community newspaper, which I started writing for and actually got paid for it starting at age 14, that, you know, you have people reading your words and there was a degree of authority and power in that and um, and influence. And that really struck me. And um, I always had a knack for writing. And the more that you write, the better that you get at it. And so at age 14, I was writing a weekly column and uh, got pretty good at it. Went to college for journalism, uh, Emerson College up in Boston. And and a professor once told me there's nothing older than yesterday's newspaper, but books last forever. And so that really stuck with me. And when I started writing books with that Glenn Burke book back in 1995, I really realized that, you know, it's true. I mean, people are still buying and reading that first book I wrote with Glenn Glenn Burke. And now all these years later, a movie's in the works. And uh, so you never know, you know, you never know what's going to resonate with people. You never know if what you write can bring about some social change and can touch people. And uh, and and I think all my books to varying various degrees have really touched people. You know, that's worth more to me than anything because you're making a difference in people's lives.
feel like one of them. I mean, it was great. Um, 